Hello YouTube, this is Dragonzilla here, and today I will be doing a thoughts and opinions video for Eofauna Scientific Research. Now, at this present time, I am currently working on a review for the Godzilla high grade figures that I got back in 2013. However, recently Eofauna has gotten my attention because they have announced two figures this time. Well, I believe that one was announced last week and the other this week. And since I did a thought and opinions video on the Paleoloxodon and Giganotosaurus, I thought I might as well do these figures too. I was initially going to do one, but then it occurred to me that people might ask me on the other figure. So I have decided to talk briefly on one and a bit more on the second model. And with all that out of the way, let us now take a look at these brand new figures from Eofauna Scientific Research. The first figure is a sauropod called Atlasaurus, and it's Eofauna's second dinosaur, but their first herbivore, dino-wise. It looks like the type of model that you would see in a museum, and that's the quality that most of these new figures are receiving. Not only Eofauna, but Collector and Safari. And I love the paint job on it. However, I never picked up the Eofauna Giganotosaurus, mainly because I got the Safari model last Christmas, and I'm happy with it. But the Atlasaur? Well, it looks impressive, but I'm not sure whether or not I'll be getting it. The second model is Eofauna's attempt at Dinotherium. Now, Dinotherium is one of my favourite prehistoric elephants of all time, with the mammoths and mastodons. So, I welcome this. It will be figure number 5 in the line and their third prehistoric elephant. And like the others, the Dinotherium will come with a card. And so will Atlasaurus. I like the way that the trunk is curved. It puts to mind the Dinotherium model that is seen on display at the Natural History Museum in London. So I wonder if this is meant to be a modern reconstruction of that, but in figure form. If so, then that's incredible, because I'd always wanted the Dinotherium model that recreated that pose. The figure seems to be in a walking position. On the left, the feet are flat on the ground, but the right feet are doing all the walking. Here's where I'm concerned. Let me take you back to my review on the Paleoloxodon. You may recall that I mentioned on the back right foot being raised too high, and as a result the figure does topple over. Not all the time, but sometimes, hence why I have either my collected Dinotherium or Safari Limited American Mastodon beside him to help with his balance. Because of this, I hope that the Dinotherium will not have standard up issues. Well, mind you, the Giganotosaurus has feet that look small, and that stands up perfectly fine. And Dinotherium doesn't seem to be as bulky as Paleoloxodon. So hopefully Eofauna will make sure that their Dinotherium is a great stander. Well that's it for this video folks. Those are my thoughts and opinions on the upcoming Eofauna scientific research Dinotherium and Atlasaurus. They both look fantastic but I think it's most likely that I will be going for the Dinotherium. I'm mostly the type of person who likes to go for one model of a particular animal unless I'm a huge fan of the beast. And thus I'm a big fan of Dinotherium ever since it started Walking with Beasts Episode 4 next to Kin. So the collector Dinotherium may be getting some companionship soon and meeting his match. The figures will be available on everythingdinosaur.com between October and November, ready in time for Christmas. And you can check out my thoughts and opinions on the Eofauna, Paleoloxodon and Giganotosaurus, as well as my reviews on the Paleoloxodon and the Step Mammoth, links below. This is Dragonzilla signing out, take care and I'll see you in my review on the Godzilla Gashapon Figures 2013 group, bye for now.